In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to display KPIs next to bars. I presented this as the Data School Gym Challenge. And ultimately, what we want to end up is with something like this, this view here, where you have the arrow that indicates that there's a problem next to the bar. But the issue is we want it to always be the same distance from the bar. Previously, I'd written something, uh, a blog post about how to use ASCII indicators, but that's not really what we want to do because those require you to put them in the, in the rows as separate, separate, uh, separate dimensions. So I'm going to show you, first I'll introduce you to the problem, and then I'll show you the solution. So I'm connecting to Superstore Sales, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag order date out into the view. And let's maybe just start with a view that's customer, and let's just look at sales for order date, something like that. Now what I want to do is I want to use the last two years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calculated field that is, I'll call it my uh, uh, current year or let's call it latest year. And this is going to simply be a little calculation that says if the max, I'm going to use a uh, level of detail calculation here, the year of order date is equal to the year of order date, then give me the sales, and, oh uh, no, I'm sorry, else zero, Okay, uh, let's see, and it looks like it doesn't like that, so, oh, I forgot the end of my level of detail expression, so let me stick that in here. Okay, so that's good. So now if we take latest year and we put that in the view instead, you'll see we just get 2015. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to duplicate that, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to call it previous year, or prior year. In this case, I'm going to say if the max of year of order date minus 1 is equal to the year of order date, then sales. Hit OK. And what I want to do now is I want to take prior year and put that in the view. All right, so now you see we get this nice, uh, we, we get things lined up nice and neat. OK, so let's go ahead and take year off the view. Let's take measure names and measure values off. OK, so we just have customer segment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bar chart that shows my latest year sales. I'm going to drag prior year to the detail shelf, go to the analytics pane, and add a reference line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a reference line for the prior year for every row. I'm going to make it black, and I'm going to turn off the recalculation. Okay, so now you can see it looks like consumer is down versus prior year, whereas corporate is above. Excellent. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create a calculated field that calculates the difference between the two. Really, all I want to, all I care about is, is it above or below the previous year? So I'm just going to call this um, year over year. And in this case, I'm just going to say the sum of latest year is greater than or equal to the sum of the prior year. Hit OK. And I get a year over year metric. And what I want to do now is um, I need to actually, uh, I want to go ahead and create one more calculated field. And for this, I'm just going to call it my, uh, let's call it mark position. And I'm going to start by just making it the average of uh, zero. And let's say we want to go backwards, you know, 50,000. So actually, so I don't even need to do zero. I could just do minus 50,000 and hit OK. And I'm going to put that in the view as well, and then make it a dual axis. Okay, and then synchronize. And now if I go to my latest year, I'm going to switch this back to a bar. Go to my all marks card, remove measure names. Okay, and then on my mark position, what I want to do is I want this to be a shape. And I want to put my year over year on the shape. So for here, I'm going to double click my shapes, and the ones that are false, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make those down arrows. Hit OK. And then I'm going to right click on my true and go ahead and hide those because I don't really care to see those. And then I'm also going to drag my year over year to color because I want those to be red. OK, so now I can drag the size a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. All right, something like that. From here, I would probably go ahead and untick the show header 
and turn off the tooltip for that mark. Okay, so now we can see um, you know, whether it's up or down. But the issue now is if I start adding dimensions, so consider the white space between the arrow and the bars. If I add something like region, you'll see I now get a much bigger gap. What I really want to solve is I always want the gap to be the same size. So uh, in other words, it should always be the same distance from the left edge of the bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and oops, I'm going to go ahead and um, create a uh, and actually I've got one more issue I think I need to solve here. So let me put subcategory here. Uh, that's not the one I'm looking for. So there is an instance. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, but anyway, you can see how the problem continues to get worse and worse. So what we need to do is we need to make this dynamic. So I'm going to just go ahead and duplicate this sheet because we're going to leave that one alone. And I'm going to create another calculated field. And this time I'm going to call it, uh, I'll call this one alert position. And really what I want to say is I want to say if my, uh, I want to say if, um, let's see, if my, uh, I could do my year over year. So that's going to return true. So if that is true, then I want to return my, um, so in other words, if that's bigger, then I want to return my sum of, of uh, or actually I just want to return the sum of, uh, let's see, latest, uh, latest year, else I want to return the sum of prior year. Okay, and end. And this is going to basically return that value. So let's see what that does so far. So let's let's replace mark position with alert position. Okay, so you see how that kind of places it out there. So it's not quite what we're looking for. So what I actually want to do is I want to take the window max of this. So I want to do the window max and then just wrap this whole thing in a window max. All right, and hit apply. And you'll see uh, once I hit OK and make this table down. You'll see I get that mark all the way out here on this on this bar, which is good. But what I really want is I want it to be to the left of the bar. So let's just continue to play with this. So I'm just going to stick a negative in front of that. And if I hit apply, you'll see it goes way out here to the end. But really what I, what I want to do is I want to maybe multiply that by maybe 0 0.05, something like that. Hit apply. And now you'll see it's a really, it's nicely positioned just to the left of, of the bar. So hit OK. And now, um, as I swap out my metrics, you can see it always is the same position from, so I could put product container in here, uh, maybe move product container to the left, and my arrow is always positioned in the same spot. Maybe throw a customer segment out there. You see how it always maintains it in the right spot. So it's a good use of table calculations there. Um, maybe I want to use something like, uh, let's try, I've got customer segment, I've got product container, product category. So maybe let's stick category in here. But one of the issues I'm going to find, if I can possibly find it, is, uh, let me take container off. There is an issue at some point where we don't have anything for our year over year sales. Maybe if I put ship mode out here. So really what you should be doing is in my um, year over year calculation, I really should wrap this in a ZN because I want this to always return a zero if it's a null value. In other words, if I don't have sales for one of the years, just convert it to zero. So sorry, I wasn't able to find that example. But anyway, so that's the way that I would handle this. I would go ahead and again, untick and then choose not to show the header. And now you've got these nice little uh, these nice little indicators right next to the bars. And if you don't like the position of it, you can always edit the calculation and maybe you want it to be instead of uh, 0.05, you want it to be maybe uh, you know 0.02 or something like that. You want to move it a little bit closer to the bar. So uh, you know you'll sort of figure out what what works for you. But uh, but yeah, I think this looks a lot nicer now. Um, and uh, so hopefully you found that useful. And I'll be back next week with another tip. Have a good day.